Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for the next three months. This is going to be for December, January, and February. And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me or you would like to take my six week long mentorship, all the information is in the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in here. All right, so what are we gonna be looking at today? Let me move this over. We're gonna be looking at first love for the next three months, create finance, and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's gonna have my Sagittarius's? Romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Sagittarius's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Sagittarius's career and finance for the months of December, January, and February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here. Okay. I feel like someone's like wanting to get control of a situation that they feel like they don't have control of. Let's see at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's something about a situation where it's like, did I miss an opportunity? Uh, it's like a nervous energy, I'm like trying to kind of figure out the answers, trying to, to kind of get to the bottom of this situation, okay? So remember this is December, January, February. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. All right, what's gonna have my Sagittarius's romantic love life? Give me nine cards to my Sagittarius's romantic love life. Give me nine cards to my Sagittarius's career and finance. December, January, February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's go to the first card here. So we see there's some kind of communication coming in, okay? Remember, Eight of Wands is our communication card. Could be letter, message, document, okay, paperwork, something communicating. Someone's trying to communicate about what? Love. Okay, so someone wants to communicate with you or you're gonna receive some kind of messages about love. Okay, let's get more information. What's gonna happen with Sagittarius is Romance of Love Life? Give me nine cards for Sagittarius is Romance of Love Life. Give me nine cards for Sagittarius is Career and Finance. For the next three months, December, January, February. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, let's see. Yes, exactly what I felt like, okay, so. Someone is spying on you, watching you from afar. Okay, I know you guys don't like when I say that, but this is known as the spying card, okay? This is known as the spying card. So they're watching you afar, they're spying, and we see that they're putting some energy or wanting to communicate with you about love. Okay, so they wanna know where they stand. So that's what I felt. I felt like when I was shuffling your cards, I was like, this person's like searching, they're trying to figure it out, what's going on with you, all those kinds of things, okay? So let's keep going here, Sagittarius. What's gonna happen my Sagittarius is romantic love life. December, January, February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, so there's concern. Oh my God, is there enough chemistry? Are they in love with me? Okay, so let's keep going. So it looks like there's some competition. Someone wants to fight for this connection with the five wands energy. They want to gain some kind of control. That's exactly what I felt like. Okay, so the energy is, so far I can feel like Sagittarius, this person's like, I want to get control of the situation. They don't feel like they have control of the situation. They don't know exactly where they stand. It bothers them a lot. And then, so they're kind of searching around, trying to figure out the answers here. And it looks like it's something to do with someone from before, okay? or there's issues because of someone from before. Okay, so we see there's us trying to stay optimistic about the whole situation. You can see that there is this very loving kind of connection here, right? This relationship that's forming or if there's already a relationship here, it's like very divinely guided. We have this twin flame kind of soulmate situation here. 
Yeah, it's very spiritually divine guided connection here. And there's a lot of effort being put into this connection. And it looks like it could be even moving to a higher level of commitment here with the engagement card coming out, okay? But I do feel like there is this defensive energy with this person, like I need more control, right? I need, so I almost feel like this person's like trying to make sure, okay, is this the same with them as it is with me? Is it the same with them as it is with me? Okay, that's what I feel like this is about here. Okay, so we see that the Ten of Cups is coming out, showing me by the time January comes, it's gonna be like, hey, look at this. I can see this long-term future with you. Isn't this great, this happy kind of energy here? And we see some alone time with your person, uh, lots of alone time with your person. And we see you're really working on giving the relationship a chance, okay? And there's another person that's being left out in the cold. Uh, there's a sense of loss, okay? And we see main person is very happy, joyful. And we see that you guys are healing, working on a situation here to give a relationship a chance. And it looks like it is moving towards a long-term commitment. We see a marriage card coming out here. Now, you could already be married to this person, so you could just be healing a marriage. Or some of you guys, there's moving to another level of commitment, okay? You are moving towards, if it's not marriage, it's a very stable, traditional kind of relationship, okay? Yeah, we see the doll card showing loyalty, devotion coming out there. Okay, so, but there's somebody in the connections concerned that there's not a full amount of effort, okay? And it's like, I'm trying to be playful, I'm trying to recapture some things here, I'm trying to just have fun with this, okay? So, okay, so let's bring it all together. There's this unrequited love and concern about not having enough chemistry or passion. But let's just stay optimistic and someone's like, okay, I wanna get engaged. Okay, let's give this relationship a chance. Let's heal this situation with family issues and let's just enjoy the moment, okay? So you're agreeing, okay, so that, uh, you know, but there is somebody in the connection that's like concerned that the other person doesn't feel the same amount of love that the other person does, okay? So let's keep going. I feel it's the other, you're not you, but the other person that's feeling like you, they're feeling a little bit of self-doubt because of something to do with someone from before or something from before or some kind of competition, okay? Arguments, fights, frustration there. Okay, so let's keep going here, Sagittarius. So we see this family long-term by February here, 10 of Pentacles energy. And we see some, still some concerns about self-doubt or an infringing party, family member, friend, okay? And we see there's this like kissing and making up here, okay? With this individual that there are some issues with. Let's just be friends, you know, just remain friends, okay? Or could, there could be a situation where Somebody has a child with someone else and they kind of still have to interact with that person, but we have this new connection coming, you know, this other connection that's moving into a little higher level of commitment, but you know, still got to do kind of resolve the family issues and stomach. It seems a very complex situation, Sagittarius. It's not very, it's not a very straightforward. I'm just saying it's not a very straightforward situation. You guys know what, it, you, what I'm talking about because this is your situation, okay? But it seems like somebody has to be friends with a person because of family things. It's either because of family uh, issues there or it's because somebody has a child with someone else and they still have to kind of remain friends because there's still like a blending of families together there. But you got this, this situation where, all right, we're gonna get married, but then there's still this kind of attachment there to that situation. Okay, so you guys know what I'm saying, right? Okay, okay. So there's this lots of potential and good news towards Virgo Capricorn energy towards uh, money, family, children, long-term. And it's like, I'm gonna go after what I want. And we see there's a lot of soul searching going on, hermit card energy and concerns about something that's beneath the surface, okay? Some kind of concerns of lying or deception beneath the surface that's causing some kind of self-doubt around the situation. Okay, let's keep going. 
So we got the world card coming out. There is by the month of February, there's a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion. It's, it's, it's moving, moving along here. And we see there's lots of thoughts and plans going on. But there's concerns about this, whoever this person is, is causing some kind of criticism or attack here. And it's like, maybe I should separate from the situation, separate from this person. All right, take myself out of that. Okay. All right, so you can see that it's, there is a little bit of, a little bit of uh, complexities here around this situation. And it's because of the fact, don't worry, I'm gonna go over advice in a minute. It's because of the fact that whatever that was, that person from the past or that person from before or that family member or that ex person, is that may be attached to you know someone has a child or or there's still like a family situation that's being worked out there um that is throwing some complexities around your romantic love life it's not that, that and some self-doubts around it because of the fact that this situation is going on it's like it's it's moving in a direction of love and romance there's some expectations for that but it's like it's not coming together the way that you're expecting it to that's what i mean to say okay or for your person maybe it's not coming together the way they expecting it to and it's throwing a lot of doubts okay on the situation so let's bring it all together we see this unrequited love and we see giving a relationship a chance we see friends you know and uh we see staying optimistic about healing family issues and we see keeping things hidden or not really being honest about this we see there's this engagement right and moving to a higher level of commitment and we see a lot of playful energy that's you know going on but we see that there's something about um separating from a situation and focusing on this honeymoon and trying to stay open-minded and praying about the situation. I just wanted more clarity on that separation. Because I don't feel like you're separating from your person. I feel like you're trying to separate yourself from, right, you're trying to stop a situation that's, that's causing issues in the connection. If I look at the bottom of the deck, see you're making the effort here, right? you feel like you're going around in circles and there's a trapped energy but there's strong chemistry and passion and it's worth waiting for right but it's like it needs to be safe for me to love and there's a lot of spiritual traditions or uh, um, religious factors or it's like a very destined connection so we see there's some spying going on and abundance of kissing and making up. We see this from this issue from before, okay? Then we see happiness and joyful energy. We see the sense of independence, single and available to pursue, or lots of soul searching. Efforts being put into this, but the concerns about this lack of effort because of this criticism or attack. Okay. So we see that there is this love here, right? And we see this alone time, but we see this this person here, now this could be a family member, a friend, or the, another, you know, infringing party there. That could be like the ex, all right? Uh, and we see this power move being made towards me person because it's like, I want you, I'm gonna go after what I want. There's a divine spiritual connection and I want loyalty and devotion and we have plans for this. So it's like, you're moving forward with your plans. That's not the thing. It's, it's that other person that's kind of trying to cause issues there okay like you see here it's like there's communication about long-term happiness we see family long-term money situation we see arguments or fights is causing this loss here we see there's so much good news about this we see this twin flame soulmate connection and marriage and accomplishment here so as i said it's not the fact that you and your person particularly are having issues it's it's whatever that other dynamic is that's causing some issues there because we see this needing to leave someone out in the cold five of pentacles energy we communication about family completion accomplishment and relationship arguments or fights about long-term happiness because of this taurus virgo capricorn energy when it comes to a marriage and you guys can clarify that in the comments below okay but let's get you guys some advice about what could you do about this situation here that you're dealing with all right, can I have some advice for my Sagittarius's? Okay, it's saying that you have, thank you, Spirit. Yes. You have good luck, all right? So good fortune. And that good advice from a wise person would be needed here. So someone has to prevail with some kind of wisdom, all right? And to help 
protect this situation, right? It's saying you need to defend yourself here, okay? You have the ability to defend yourself, especially if you're leaning on someone who could give some wise advice or support. It says there's gonna be great worry over nothing, okay? So all you have to do is just stand your ground and then lean on someone there that can bring some wisdom to the situation and then just help have them help you to defend the situation and that there will be no worry over the situation okay so anyway if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below let's move on to your career in finance all right we got the uh temperance card we got the seven of swords and we got the nine of swords okay temperance is about healing seven of swords is about something shady someone's not telling you the truth all right, uh, trying to be strategic, which is causing some kind of worries or concerns. So it's like you're trying to fix something from before, okay? And you're trying to be patient and you're kind of examining it. And you're trying to, I feel like in this situation, you're trying to use your intelligence. Because Seven of Swords in a positive sense is saying, okay, I need to think about this, I need to use my intelligence, and I need to be strategic about this with dealing with my worries and concerns, okay? So it looks like you're like having the sense that you're receiving little value in a situation and you're in despair about that, okay? And it's like the worries and concerns is something about travel or you feel you need some kind of change, okay? So it's like you're like trying to fix a situation from before and you're going for something that you really want with the Nine of Cups energy, okay? This could be something about real estate, okay? A house, home, something commercial, okay? Uh, we see our building there, okay? or it could just be you wanting a sense of stability, okay? So, but you're going gonna go, you're gonna go get what you want, all right, you're gonna go after what you want here. You are being very strategic. That's exactly what's going on with that Seven of Swords. All right, you're dealing with these issues here with the Three of Swords energy. So that's December, this is, this is January, and you're gaining your confidence here, okay? To bring things into balance. You got some plans in place. You're, you're working on it, you're thinking about it. You're, you got long-term plans that you're working on. We see there is money coming in, okay? But you're being restrictive with yourself. You're getting on schedule. You're taking control of things when it comes to your obligations and your commitments. And you're bringing it all together. And it's a big change. It's a big change uh, for a sense of stability and stableness with the anchor card energy, right? So you're switching things around and you're taking control of this and you're gaining your confidence and you're bringing it all together. Let's see what's going to happen in the month of February. Month of February, you're, you're getting on top of things now. Okay. You are, getting that foundation in place. You found a creative solution. You may be working or collaborating with somebody with a three of pentacles energy. You are building something there towards a fresh start and a new idea. You're looking at the, the opportunities you have in front of you. And you're like, okay, I'm ready for that sense of independence and having more than enough money for myself with the nine of pentacles energy because I feel stuck and stagnant. And we see that you're giving your attention to that. With the King of Swords, you're being logical. You're thinking with your head. You're, you're, you're using your intelligence here and you're speaking your truth. You could also be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And this person looks like they're going to come along and they're going to say, let me help you with this. Let me assist you with this. Now, you may have to pay this person, right? So like when you're dealing with a business, right? You could be a marketing person, right? It could be, uh, you know, a, a person that you hire. This looks like there's somebody that's coming in that looks like they're going to help you. Now, with, if you're working in a job, it could just be a collaboration going on, right? A team thing. Because you feel like that's the most intelligent thing to do with the, the cat card energy. So what's the central theme saying this, this uh, next three months for you guys, a career in finance? So there's going to be some big changes, right? And you are dealing with stuff from before and you have opportunities that you're looking at and you're trying to be smart about this when it comes to a house, a home, real estate, or a sense of stability. You're going after what you want and you're bringing things together and there's recognition that you are stuck. And so you're ready to move forward from that stuck energy. So going further, we see what's the central theme saying? Restrictions, boundaries, cautiousness. Receiving money 
but feeling like it's not as much as you could receive, right? You want more, right? You want more or you feel like you deserve more out of the situation that you've been dealing with. So this is a sense of despair and you are cautious, defensive. You're getting things in order because you feel stuck and you're moving towards a change, towards a commitment obligation and someone is helping you. Going further, we see that there is this healing energy from things that have been causing some issues. We see a collaboration and just an honest discussion about strength, courage, or confidence and a sense of independence, financial independence. But there's worries and concerns, but the, you got these plans, these long-term plans, and we see there's something about this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like you're collaborating with someone here. Okay, to the because three of pentacles means a team effort, collaborative effort, and you're building something, working on something, and, it, and it's it's coming together towards a financial independence. Nine of pentacles energy. So let's get you guys some advice. Okay, can I as advice for my Sagittariuses when it comes to career and finance for the highest best good for the best possible option for them for the next three months? Jan uh, December, January, February. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards that you need to see. It's time to take a risk. Uh, protect yourself from a situation when it comes to your money and your abundance. Be cautious, but there is going to be big changes coming in. You will overcome your obstacles, thought, which is delayed. Something's gonna come to light for you. You're gonna revisit some things you revisited before, okay? So reflect on this, really think about this, okay? Go back to what you did before. Reflect on something that you had thought about before. There's something from before you haven't noticed yet or you haven't seen yet that could help you with your situation currently. And don't forget to be happy and joyful, right? When it comes to letters, message, documents, paperwork, emails, you're gonna get what you want. You're gonna hit the bullseye here, okay? So, what do they say? What's the old saying? You catch more flies with honey, something like that. Okay, so, so remember that, all right? I feel like you guys need to know that for something about letter, message, document, paperwork, contract, something like that, dealing with people. So remember, just be nice, put your best foot forward, okay? You may get to a situation coming up where you may feel a little frustrated about something and may want to kind of get angry about it, but pull back because that could be an opportunity or a situation that could potentially turn for you, right? In a better way. All right, so what does Sagittarius need to know that they don't know that they need to know that could help them with their situation spiritually in the next three months? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look. It's saying that the orchid princess of your highest spiritual destiny calls to you now. She inspires you to discover and express your purpose. You are encouraged to live in your potential with all the uniqueness and beauty. Her sweet flute playing deep in your heart, blossoms of orchids, fulfilling, falling from her feet. She stirs your heart to quest for your true soul's passion. So this is uh, next three months would be a good time for you guys to do some soul searching, some meditation, some contemplation about really what you feel would be the best path for you at this point. It's time for you to really think about that, to really contemplate that, and to start taking steps towards that, all right, if you're not already, okay? All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.